Hello my lovely Virgos and a very happy birthday to you. Welcome to your September 2020 horoscope. This is one big month because on the 9th of September until the 13th of November Mars, the planet that rules your energy, your drive, your passions, your forward momentum, is going to go retrograde. But more about that as we progress through the dates. The month starts out on the 2nd with a full moon happening here in your 7th house of relationships, joining Neptune. So there's going to be a lot happening this month to do with your relationships yourself, your needs, what your relationship needs are. Maybe something coming to a head in a relationship. Maybe something you've not wanted to look at and it's time to look at it. You may meet somebody that you really feel is a soulmate, a soul connection. Very often Moon and Neptune uh, can bring you something that feels really special on, on like a divine level. So it's a good time for bringing divinity into your relationships, for taking them up a notch. Instead of living too much on the mundane level, see if you can go up to higher dimensions and connect with your loved ones at a different frequency. And we've got on the 6th of the month, Mercury coming into your second house. This is a wonderful time for um, researching, studying, learning anything to develop your talents, your gifts and then you might create some money from it. You could also create money from writing and any kinds of communications. You might also be teaching other people and sharing your new ideas that could bring you an extra income. On the 7th of the month we've got Venus coming into your 12th house and Venus in the 12th, this is wonderful for studying astrology, numerology, tarot, crystals, past lives, psychology, dreams, journaling, whatever it is that takes you into your internal world. And with Venus there, you may have somebody from your past come back into your life, somebody that you had a real love connection with. But it's a wonderful time just for going within and enjoying that peaceful time alone. And I think we're probably going to get quite a lot more of that as time goes on, as we come through a lot of these earth changes that we're in the midst of. So make the most of that lovely Venus in the 12th. And then the 9th we've got Mars retrograding in your 8th house until November the 13th. So this is a time when you might be rethinking anything connected with finance, connected with money, connected with investments. You might be changing your path in some way. It might need to be reassessed. You might be doing a lot of research. Yeah, you might be digging and ooh, getting all kinds of wonderful information that could be very useful. Yes, and then after Mars goes direct on the 13th of November, you might be then ready to share it. This is a very powerful aspect, but it will be important to rethink what's important to you, what are your values, how are you using money, how do you see money, and what do you want to do as far as your economic situation is concerned. You might be taking a step back. It's not a time for pushing forward during Mars retrograde, but it is a time for completing and reassessing and researching. On the 17th of the month, we've got a glorious new moon joining the sun in your first house. This is a new you emerging. Yes, we're going through huge transformation and this is an opportunity for you to discover new facets of yourself, new things that you'd like to do, new ideas, new possibilities. Your birthday time is a very significant time. It's a time when you really need to realize that you matter. What you have to contribute, especially at this time, is really important. So it's like a rebirthing time for you and it can be very positive. 
and on the 23rd of the month the sun coming to join mercury in your second this is vitalizing revitalizing your talents your gifts something that you might have stopped doing a long time ago and you decide you're going to come back to it during mars retrograde shining a light on your finances you might get some good news or something revives a business or an idea that's maybe been latent for a while it come back it comes back with further vim and vigor and possibility and on the 28th of the month mercury coming into your third this is really good for any kind of networking for uh, connecting up with people of like mind, of like thought, joining communities, finding your tribe. So this is an exciting month for you, of course. It's your birthday time. Important to think about your goals, your dreams for this coming year. And also your dreams for humanity and your place within it during this next year. Thank you to so many of you who support me on Patreon, who come on the live chats, for liking, commenting, sharing, subbing. It's a huge workload to do these separate videos every month, but I'm doing it with my heart, inviting you into my living room, and I really enjoy having you with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Much love. Bye for now.